Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and I have another meal prep for you. In this meal prep, I will be doing some breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack meal prep. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I am going to start prepping is going to be some chili lime roasted almonds. You guys, this is such an excellent recipe. It They are so, so good. They are crunchy. They just have that, you know, nice chili lime flavor and almonds are such a good source of fat. So I highly recommend this recipe. The recipe will be listed down below. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to roasting some spaghetti squash. This is going to be for a dinner one night. Um, I make this the same as I always show you guys. I show this to you at least probably every other week in a meal prep video. I just use a teaspoon of olive oil and take a brush and brush it all over the cut side of the spaghetti squash. And then I put garlic powder, onion salt, and red pepper flakes. And then you want to put it cut side down in a baking dish and bake it at 375 for 45 to 60 minutes depending on the size of your squash. So I am continuing with the dinner prep. I'm gonna make some zoodles and then also chopping up a head of cauliflower for a couple of different recipes, which you will see in my what I ate this week video. And actually the cauliflower will be a separate recipe video that you will see later on this week as well. Okay, so now we're moving into some breakfast prep. One of the things I plan on having for breakfast this week is going to be an egg scramble that I scramble with some grated zucchini and shaved Brussels sprouts. I will probably have this a couple times this week. It just sounds really good. If you've never had the combination of zucchini and Brussels sprouts together, you must, must try it. It is so, so good, you guys. So, of course, you will be seeing um, how I plan on making this egg scramble in my videos this week. Okay, so now I'm going to be doing what I call basic prep, and these are just things that are not really for any particular meal. It's just things I use throughout the week for um, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, that kind of thing. So um, today I am cutting up a red onion, some green onions, a white onion, some cilantro, and then cutting up a pineapple. So this will just be things I use throughout the week.
Okay, so the next thing I'm going to be working on is going to be some snack prep. Now, I did get some meal, new meal prep containers, which you'll see here. Um, they are a lot smaller than I thought they would be. I thought these would be good for the protein boxes that I will be showing you next, but they end up being too small for those. But they ended up being the perfect size to do some veggies and hummus so that I can really keep my portions controls on that down. And also, um, i just getting tired of using a sandwich bag every single time I want to have some vegetables. So I decided to keep these instead of sending them back and they turned out to work perfectly. So the type of hummus I have been using is, has been the Organic Hope Original Hummus. I really like this because it uses olive oil instead of canola oil in the hummus. And I, honestly, you guys, I just am not very good at making my own hummus. So um, I just put the hummus in these little tiny containers I also got off of Amazon, which will also be linked down below. Um, I cut up a bell pepper, two bell peppers. These I love the sweet bell peppers. And then I put those and some carrots with the hummus in the little meal prep containers. And there you go. Okay, so we're going to continue on with some snack prep, and these are going to be those protein snack boxes that I was talking about earlier. Um, I am going to put some of those roasted almonds that I made early, earlier in this video. I'm measuring out 20 grams of these almonds, putting them into these little tiny containers, which were the perfect size. I'm also adding in some lunch meat. The lunch meat I like to use is going to be the Simple Truth. Um, it has like none of those nitrates, nit nitrites, any of those bad things that are in some lunch meats. So I'm putting three of those in there that I'm rolling up. I'm also adding a hard boiled egg and then one of the light cheese sticks. And the last thing that I'm prepping today is going to be for my lunches at work. I'm going to be making some chicken enchilada bowls and I did see a recipe on Pinterest but I did not follow that recipe so I will just link what I made down below and I'll also link the original recipe as well. So in this I went ahead and made a mixture of corn and black beans and put a little bit of cilantro in there and then I also made some cilantro lime cauliflower rice so I had to prep those first and then I had bought a rotisserie chicken at Costco for another meal this later on this week and so I went ahead and just took all the meat off of that chicken including the dark meat so this is a mixture of breast and like light and dark meat in this bowl so I just kind of cut um shredded it up into little small pieces. I'm adding in some diced green chilies as well as a three quarters of a cup of enchilada sauce. And this is going to make four bowls. So the way I'm assembling these is I'm just gonna put some cauliflower rice in the bottom. I'm going to put some of the bean and corn mixture and then I am doing two thirds of a cup of the chicken mixture. And there you go. This is my meal prep for this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to look in the description box for all the links to the meal prep containers plus any recipes. And please let me know what you are meal prepping for today. I hope you will subscribe and like this video and share it with anybody who you think would enjoy it. Thank you for watching guys. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye!